So let's protect school board members. We're going to check in with Fox 26 Houston a little bit later on for this segment, but we do have some live images. President Biden speaking from Rome, Italy during the G20 summit. Environment. Today is a testament to the power of American diplomacy and strong partnerships to deliver tangible benefits for American workers and the middle class families in America. I thank Gina Raimondo and our secretary and Ambassador Catherine Tai for their leadership to get this done, but they had a really first-rate person to work with to get it done. And uh, I want to thank the European Commission President van der Leyen for her, her, her team and her partnership. She's been straightforward from the very beginning as we work to come up with a creative solution that benefits all of our people. Over the past nine months, the United States and the European Union have come together to take on major global challenges by looking to all that unites us and the shared interest we have both in Europe and the United States. We have resolved the 17-year Boeing Airbus dispute, and we are close partners to, the, to address COVID-19 and combat climate change. As we move forward, we are going to continue together to update the rules of the road and the 21st century economy and prove to the world that democracies, democracies are taking on hard problems and delivering sound solutions. And the European Union and the United States will continue to be the closest of friends and partners as we work together to solve the 21st century challenges. So I thank you again, President van der Leyen, and now I turn the podium over to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I think I'm over there. Thank you very much, Mr. President, dear Joe. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm also very pleased to announce that, Mr. President, you and I, we have today agreed to suspend the tariffs on steel and aluminum and to start the work on the new global sustainable steel arrangement. And this marks a milestone in uh, the renewed EU-US partnership and it is our global first in our efforts to achieve the decarbonization of the global steel production and trade. It is a big step forward in fighting climate change. The arrangement is, of course, open to all like-minded partners. Steel manufacturing is one of the highest carbon emission sources globally. And for steel consumption and trade to be sustainable, we must address the carbon intensity of the industry. We must also address prob problems of overcapacity. And this is what the global sustainable steel arrangement is all about. We will work together with the United States to ensure the long-term viability of our industry and to encourage the production and trade of low-carbon steel. This new global initiative will add a new powerful tool in our quest for sustainability. It will be a major step forward in achieving climate neutrality, and it will ensure a level playing field for our industries. It is yet another key initiative for our renewed forward-looking transatlantic agenda with the United States. Since the beginning of the year, as you said, Mr. President, dear Joe, we have restored trust and communication. We put to rest our disputes on aircraft subsidies. We set up our Trade and Technology Council. We created a vaccine partnership. We reached an agreement on global minimum tax. And now we have found a solution on EU, US steel and aluminium trade. I thank you, Mr. President, dear Joe, for your announcement that the United States will remove, remove U.S. tariffs on EU steel and aluminium up to previous trade levels. This will alleviate a major part of the existing trade irritants. It will allow trade, transatlantic trade in steel and aluminium between us to come back to the levels recorded before these tariffs were put in place. And following this U.S. decision, I am pleased to announce that the Commission will also propose to suspend the tariffs that we had introduced. 
I'm also pleased to join President Biden in announcing the pausing of our dispute on this issue in the World Trade Organization. And as you did, uh, Mr. President, dear Joe, I would like to thank Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo, U.S. Trade Representative Ambassador Catherine Tai, and Executive Vice President Valdis Dombrovskis for their and their team's tireless efforts in the last month. This is a major step forward in our renewed relationship, and many thanks for that. Looking forward to working more on this deal. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you, folks.